What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the one and only Prince the Proof for Dash. Coming at y'all again with yet another video, man, on this lovely Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Say, guys, I'm headed to the gym. Um, I'm finna go train some legs, man. Y'all know we always got to do those legs, man. You know, we got to have that lower body intact, man. You know, uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on TikTok, but I had made like a, a short video talking about like guys that be acting like they all macho and stuff in the gym and stuff and i was like a lot of times those good the dudes they be acting tough ain't got no legs on them right you know uh, y'all got to train those legs man especially if you get into a physical altercation you got to be able to uh push you, well you got to be able to uh have some balance man because the dude can just push you over and shit you know so y'all y'all gonna train those legs right but on on the way up there man and i hope this I hope this little view hold up. I'm not in my car yet, y'all. So I don't even got my thing. And I just was in my car. I should have grabbed it. I had looked at it like the little thing. Um, I had left it. But um, this will work, hopefully. Right? But um, while I ride down to the gym, I wanted to talk about something. Because I, I know y'all guys watch my old videos for the guys that have been here for a minute. Or just guys that's new and they just want to check out my old content. I used to always talk about, you know, just tips and tricks to help guys with, like, women and stuff like that. Right? You know, because I got my little, I got my fair share, you know, um, on a daily, like when I'm in stores and stuff like that, or just in public in general, I'm always talking to women. It, could, it can be over the phone or anything, you know. I don't even got to know them. I could be talking to a damn, a damn, a staff, a, 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 a representative. It could be anybody, like just my, my charisma, my energy, the things I say, right? I usually have a good success rate with women. I usually have a great conversation or I usually always rub them the right way, right? And just my confidence, it's just my charisma. You know, I know y'all guys can tell from the video just how I talk and stuff, like dude got a mouthpiece on him, right? And that's really all it really boiled down to, right? Uh, a lot of times guys, they be wondering like how these dudes, like these pookies and Ray Rays and, and stuff, these dudes, they be looking rough. They be like, how these dudes be getting these women and stuff? How they be sleeping with all these women and stuff? And it's really just they confident, just to be honest with you, right? Uh, you ain't even gotta be the best looking guy. Like, look at me, y'all. Like, I look rough. It's like my rough look. Y'all used to see me with my hair cut and stuff like that. But this is my rough look, you know, and I'm still growing my hair. But I've been combing my hair. I, I haven't even been feel like laying my, my waves down and stuff. You know, I've just been combing it out, right? You know, and just letting it grow out, right? You know, because I'm like, I, I like the rough look too. You know, I can be on both sides, right? You know, y'all know women like that rough look, you know, that, that screams masculinity. That screams that virility in a man. You know, to having that rough look, you know, and a lot of times what it is with a lot of these guys, they like these, these pookies and Ray Rays are these dudes that just had that aggressiveness about them. It's just their confidence, bro. It's just their, their intentional with about what they're going to get. You know, um, a woman always like a man that's intentional, a woman like a man that's direct with his approach and what he, what, what he want to go after, you know, like he not scared of that pretty face, you know, he not simping over that pretty face, that, 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 that nice booty and stuff, he not simping over it, you know, and he, he, he's, he's, uh, he, he has that confidence when he can, uh, when he approach, he got a confidence when he's saying what he's saying, like, you know, like looking a woman in their eyes, like I told y'all about that, you know, you gotta look a woman in their eyes when you're talking to him, right, because that's part of you seducing them and stuff, you know, but yeah, a lot of times, uh, a lot of guys, they, they think you gotta have all this stuff, they think you gotta have these nice cars. They think you gotta be rich. You know, you gotta be making six, seven figures and this, all this stuff and all that, right? So why is it that these these good girls from these suburban environments and stuff, why are they messing with these Pookie and Ray Rays? Why are they messing with these dudes that will quote unquote not have that, have no money? Hell, a lot of times the dudes they the, the dudes they be messing with be driving their cars, living with them and shit. You know, they just making enough, you know, just to get by and shit. You know, they can provide a couple of things, but the women just turned on by they, they really to their masculinity, right? And the things that they tell us, the sweet nothings, you know, that 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 the guys that we tell them, right? You know, I don't, I, don't, I ain't gonna say I be telling sweet nothings. I just, I be talking. I don't gotta sugarcoat. I'm authentic too. Hold on, sorry y'all. But yeah, a lot of times, dude, those dudes, they get it because. One, the one that direct, and then two, that they're, they're just a woman's preference, right? As far as uh, you know, the um, directness and and the man, right? They like a man that's more direct and more uh, aggressive and stuff like that, right? And yeah, yeah, there's a thing with these girls that be like in that oh that old hood hood guy phase and shit like that. Like that's a thing, but you know, a lot of times, even as they get older, they still want dudes that's rough and aggressive, you know, not not like over the top, you know. 
but they still want a, a guy that has that element about them. And you know, they can see that in your everyday speaking, your, the way you talk, the way you walk, you know, the way you carry yourself, the way you interact with people. They can just look at him like, is this dude, is this dude, does he look like he'll come in and take it from me? Right now, I ain't saying like no rape or no shit like that. So I don't even run off and take, oh, he's saying raping this and that. No, I'm not even saying that. Like I don't even play about that. That's a sensitive subject that I'm not even gonna get into. You know, because you know, that that's wrong. That's flat out wrong. I don't care how you look at it, right? But uh, let me let me just hold this man, cause this little camera, I ain't got my thing, and I'm tired of it falling. But uh, yeah, a lot of times those dudes they get it because just of their their aggressive nature. Then they're sure about themselves. It's that confidence, bro. You know, and if you got confidence and stuff, bro, you good with a woman, right? You could be just damn near getting off. You could be just getting off work. Seriously, y'all, man. Dude, there's times like I, I be just getting off work and shit like that, right? You know, there's been times that I, I just got off work or, you know, whatever I'm doing, I could be looking rough and shit, right? You know, and I go talk to women and, and everything and, you know, and just my charisma, I'm making them laugh and, you know, you know, we just having a good time, you know? And if I want to pursue the woman, I can you know, because it's there. Like, I, I got the charisma already that broke the ice and shit like that, right? You know? And they don't give damn about how I look. They don't care about my appearance and shit like that. I ain't, I ain't got to be clean cut all the time. You know, I ain't got to be dressed down in the nicest shit or be driving the nicest ride and shit. You know? It's just my it just my confidence. It's just my charisma and the shit I'm saying. You know, and just me being confident in myself, right? That's the, that's the ultimate thing, right? It's, it's the confidence, bro. You won't even be able to even have a mouthpiece if you don't got no confidence, bro. Yeah, mouthpiece come over time, but the mouthpiece just come from you making a step to be able to even being comfortable enough to even talk to a woman or just being comfortable enough with what you're saying and being sure of what you're saying to convince a woman to 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 uh pursue you or to, to engage with you. Like the things you saying gotta make sense. You got it gotta make sense to you first before it makes sense to her in the word in, in other words, right? So your confidence got to be first, you know? Your belief got to be first thing, right? And that comes just over life experience. Like, I, I like what the uh, bodybuilder Tom Plaster was talking about. He's like, man, him being on the squat rack and stuff and, you know, uh, being able to push when he thought he couldn't and, and getting five more even when he thought he couldn't, that that is uh, that uh, established the inner confidence within him. Like, not just with bodybuilding, but everything he's doing is everyday life, you know, business, work. Or just just anything he does, he got an inner confidence because he's he's overcame, he's transcended what his his mind and his body have have allowed him to do, or his, his uh, mind is transcending what his body has allowed him to do, you know. And once you got inner confidence in yourself, you know, you know, and, and you naturally let it flow, like can't nothing stop you, nothing can stop you, you know, regardless of how beautiful a woman is or whatever, you know, that's what they looking at, you know. That's what they're that's what they're looking like. Oh man, I like this dude, man. His vibe and stuff. I like how confident he is and all that. You know the shit he's saying and shit. You know I like him, dude. He, he's confident with himself. Get this little white girl, man. They be thirsty. I shoot some game at her and shit. You know if I was out here, y'all already know how I am. I ain't finna get to letting the window down and be like, hey, such and such. I could. You know, I will show you how I get down. You know, cause I got game. I, I got I got conversation on me. You know, I ain't even got a, I ain't even got a thing. I got conversation, but let me park y'all. My damn camera and shit. I, I'm, I'm doing this shit. I got a camera in one hand. <laughs> I'm trying to back up in the other because I don't have my, I don't have my little uh, camera stand thing on me. You know, so I'm just using this little, I'm just making up little corners and shit. That's masculinity right there, just being direct. You know, um, building shit out of nothing. That's masculinity. I'm building shit. I ain't letting life stop me. I ain't letting the situation stop me. I'm overcoming the shit. I'm making my own motherfucking way. You know, that's that's a masculinity in itself, right? A lot of guys think they need to be macho and shit. And a lot of times, I'm like, that shit is... I'm finna just set up right here, y'all. Cause this ain't pissing me off. Hell. Well... I'm going to leave this shit in here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry for the camera being moving around a lot. But a lot of guys, they think they need to be macho and shit, man. And they, they think they got to prove their masculinity. But masculinity just you being a man, right? There's times where you need to uh, be dominant or be aggressive and stuff like that. Let's say if somebody's attacking you or your family or something like that. Or you going out there to hunt and shit like that. 
that's when you be aggressive. You don't gotta be aggressive when you see other men and shit, or if you see other men around your women. Like when guys be trying to hide their women and shit, I be like, man, I be in the gym and shit, y'all. I be in the gym and shit, right? And just me being a big guy in shape and shit, guys, they get to hide their women and shit. Or they, like if they, they uh, woman is working out right there, they step in front of them and shit like that, not to look at me, you know, and shit like that. Like a woman gonna look anyway, right? You know, she attracted to you, she gonna look. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter if you her boyfriend or what, right? You know, woman gonna like what she always, she gonna like what she like, you know? And guys gotta get that understood. Then cause you, then cause you got a girl don't mean that she don't like other things. Don't mean she don't wanna explore outside of her nature. Don't mean she don't wanna get some outside contact. You know, sometimes she want that outside contact, bro. Y'all gotta be okay with that. You know, especially if you a man that's insecure like that, like she gonna, she gonna, she gonna distance away from you anyway. She gonna pull away from you anyway. She gonna sneak out and be like, I'm going to the store and she getting fucked. She getting her back blown out. She gonna do that anyway while she with you. And that's just, a, that's the hardcore truth. When guys be all over a woman's toes and shit and try to limit them from being them, being them, that's what usually happens, right? And when you push somebody or you force somebody to do something, they always gonna go the other way, right? So that's why you just let shit be what it's gonna be, you know? That's how I look at life, right? But the women, they going for the guys because they, they, their confidence, bro, their masculinity. That's just the bottom line of what I'm saying. If you don't got confidence, you ain't gonna have, you ain't gonna get no women, right? If you don't have mouthpiece, you ain't gonna get no women, right? I don't care how, how much money you got. I don't care how you look. I don't care about none of that. It starts with you, you know? So y'all let that be known, right? But, um, I'm okay. I can ramble all day, man. And I apologize again, y'all, uh, for this, uh, camera, you know, um, uh, the uh, place and this stuff, me moving around and shit. Y'all just seen it. But uh, my camera kept falling and shit, and I ain't got my little thing to put on the uh, windshield because this ain't my car. You know, I can put it on there, but I just be leaving it in my car, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm going to get back to being in my car and stuff like that. I haven't really played with it, man. I'm going to have to handle a lot of other stuff, man. So y'all bear with me. All right, man. But y'all guys be confident in yourself, man. Especially when y'all engaging with these women or just in life in general, man. Make sure y'all confident in yourself. Make sure y'all looking people in their eyes and everything, right? Not on no aggressive stuff. Just let them know you're serious, though. You ain't got to be aggressive. You ain't got to be over the top. Just, just look at them directly, right? But, uh, yeah, man, uh, that's my message for the day, man. Y'all guys be confident, man. And, you know, uh, y'all keep grinding. Y'all keep growing, man. Y'all already know, man, what time it is. I'm gone, man. Peace.